Welcome to the Alcorn McBride Academy, a series of online courses where you can learn all about our products and how to use them for some really cool applications. My name is Scott Harkless, and today we're going to embark on a journey where the video is pristine and the bit rates are obscene. This course is a deep dive into the AV Binloop Uncompressed, our bulletproof uncompressed video player designed specifically for high profile attractions. As long as Alcorn McBride doesn't realize that I've hacked into their web server, I'm going to walk you through concepts like loading video content, video output configuration, playback control, and multi-channel synchronization. Let's do it! The AV Binloop Uncompressed is designed to fill the role of a video server. Sorry, saying that phrase always makes me feel nauseous. You see, video servers are called servers because they are almost always PC-based devices. This is where the AV Binloop Uncompressed shatters the mold. Rather than write software that relies on short-lived PC hardware, graphics cards, and bloated operating systems, we let our talented engineers out of their cages for a few days and ask them to design a purpose-built video playback system from the ground up. Using ultra-reliable embedded technologies like microcontrollers and FPGAs, they built something that is specifically designed to play high-quality uncompressed video. No pop-ups on the video output, no update notifications, and no playback hiccups when the OS decides it has more important things to do. Instead, what you get is perfectly smooth and crisp video playback that will perform flawlessly for years with no maintenance. Before we go any further though, what's the big deal about uncompressed video anyway? Well, it's important to keep in mind that people visit attractions to have an experience that they can't have at home. While three megabit per second H.265 compressed video might look okay when you're kicking back on your couch in a leopard print Snuggie, the dynamics change when you strap someone to a giant robot arm and hurl them in front of a 50-foot dome screen. Pixels are bigger, compression artifacts are obvious, and low frame rates make writers regret scarfing down that elephant ear before they hopped in the queue line, if you catch my drift. In other words, uncompressed video makes the guests feel less like they're watching a video and more like they're having a cool themed experience. It's really that simple. If you haven't had the chance to take any of our other world-famous training classes, I'll give you a fair warning. We have a habit of droning on and on about this silly ecosystem concept. We hate to keep bringing it up, but the reality is that attractions require a large ecosystem of tools to work, and our goal is to perfect that ecosystem. In that interest, the AV Binloop Uncompressed is the perfect video source for any video subsystem in the attraction. Whether it's LED walls, projection, or flat panel displays, you won't find a more reliable uncompressed playback source that can deliver the high quality, high frame rate content that will impress your guests. This product also has all of the interfaces required to make sure that this stunning video is perfectly synchronized with all of the other subsystems in the attraction. Why is that important, you ask? Because it's not really gonna matter how good that projected character looks if their lips don't move in sync with the audio content on board the ride vehicle, right? That's the top priority of a proper ecosystem. Everything has to coordinate perfectly so that the guests have a seamless experience. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, Scott, you keep saying the video quality is stunning, but my technically illiterate aunt says the same thing about the videos she posts on Facebook from her crappy flip phone. Point taken, my friend. A single AV Binloop uncompressed unit can provide up to eight channels of 2K60 playback, up to two channels of 4K60, or a single channel of 4K120. Many resolutions are supported, including both true 4K and Ultra HD resolutions. We also support both 8-bit 444 and 10-bit 422 color depths with either the REC 709 or REC 2020 color standards. By design, the way it works is really simple. Video content is stored on removable solid state drives in the form of frame files, similar to target sequences. When commanded to do so, these frames are played directly to our SDI and HDMI video outputs in their raw, uncompressed glory. What goes in is what goes out. The bin loop provides a tremendous amount of playback flexibility too. For example, clips can be looped seamlessly or transition cleanly into other clips. New clips can even be triggered and spliced into existing playback without interruption. 
These types of playback features make it really easy to jump back and forth between many different video clips while presenting a smooth and seamless experience for the viewers. Synchronization is also a breeze. Channels can be played independently or grouped together for perfect pixel accurate synchronization between one another. Through the magic of the V16X show controller and video genlock, multiple bin loops can even be synchronized with one another to achieve massive resolutions. This really comes in handy for edge blended projection or LED wall systems that can easily hit 8K resolutions and beyond. Why spend the extra money for all those pixels if you're not going to take advantage of them, right? There's so much cool stuff that this product can do, it's hard to compress it into a single course. Get it? Ugh, nothing kicks off a class better than a little video codec humor. Anyway, enough messing around. Let's get familiar with the AV bin loop uncompressed so you can spend your time building fewer raid arrays and more cool attractions.